The best publicity experience was just sitting down in Lagos and running Lagos. Lagos is not Nigeria. You can't compare that to somebody who has been fed who has been president, vice president of the country, sitting with ambassador, running the country together with him, learning the ropes there and understanding that even from the forming of government, you balance things. Because a leader has to carry a certain level of patriotism. And that patriotism is the scale that tells him this type of behavior will not go here, this will not go here, this will not be accepted here. I was on your program, Shewu, when I was screaming, Mr. President, Mr. President, you are, you, you are making more money and giving more money to the state. You have not told them what to do with it. And you are watching these guys do that. And what has happened? It has impacted the dollar. Is this his fault to, to have made more money available she, oh, it is to the state? It is his fault to the extent that he pretends as if he does not know the country he's leading. This is an environment where officers are generally very corrupt. We need to he, get... He shouldn't have taken one we need to, we need to. Did you not understand the country you are coming to lead? Do you not know what it will be required for the person to have boots on ground? If you had made that your Israel, the minister of Israel, perhaps they would have had more boots on ground with young people. You can't just be running anyhow and expecting us to be clapping for you. You are a we are mess. We are because in the Obasanjo article regime, we embarked on phase removal of subsidy. First point. Second point, we engage the civil society, the organized labor, the private sector, the manufacturer for a roadmap on how to do it. When they say this is not, this must happen first, we make that happen, then we move to the next step. Then we make that happen, then we move to the next step. Nobody takes government and in a lackadaisical attitude, in an unfeeling and unempathetic manner, pretend as if he's talking only to his overfed friends. Nigeria is made up of maybe 220 or more, and the vast majority of us are poor. And do not be deceived that because you can afford three square meals, that means that everybody in the whole of this country can afford it. And if they cannot afford it, the question then gets to be asked, what then is the responsibility of government other than to make sure that the people in the country can survive? Listen, my friend, and nobody should try to pussy foot our face or give us the impression that everybody in this country is, is, is mainly stupid. You cannot run a big nation like ours in a manner that suggests that you have not really thought through your policies, you have not impacted it on how it's going to impact the people, and you have not come up with creative ways to solve the problem. I'll give you another one. If you remove subsidy on the first day, why must it take you one year and two months before you can increase the salary of civil servant? Did the price not start impacting from the next day? When you were throwing money all over the place, saying you are doing palliative, giving money to your friends who are governors misbehaving all over the country, what did you think was going to happen? Okay, now we're here. And I want to say to Nigerians, with every sense of responsibility, because we have ruled this country, we've led this country before, and we plan to lead it in the future. The therefore, will say that therefore, we you, will not... You run this country aground. Are, are you for real? Do you not have such that's, that's what the APC will say. Forget what the APC is saying. They can tell themselves all sorts of lies. Would you say that the, the PDP gave Nigeria Do you know a what, good country? At the, at, the, at the worst of our performance, Jonathan, yes, we were still doing 5 something growth percent. Do you know what the size of the Nigerian economy was in, in 2015? It was, was the largest growing economy in Africa. Where are we today? I'm not here for that. Shewu, we have found ourselves in a situation. They don't even know how to get themselves out of it, and so we have to help them now. And I'll say to the Nigerian people, once we choose democracy, the demagogy of language of dictatorship is, has to change. When we were running military dictatorship and all of that, the demagogy of strike, put people on the street, we're not going to agree. That was the language of then. In a civilian democracy, the demagogy must be consultation, conversation, and short intervention. Democracy is as it were, civilian monarchy. But the beauty of that civilian monarchy is that it is termed. And therefore, we know that after every four years, we can have a referendum on their performance. And if they have not done well, we can vote them out. But if we insist that we're going to do some copycat syndrome that's going to make our country become ugly because of their inability to manage things. Oh, more. See, the guy just did blow hot, 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 hot. So that was Shergun Shomi, former gubernatorial candidate under the PDP party as well as uh, former article abubaka aid on communication so he has come out again that interview was given before the end bad government protest so that was an older interview but today he has gone out on arise tv and he's going to further criticize tunubu complaining and lamenting of why does tunubu need 12 communication managers or communication aides and why does tunubu has so many uh ministers why is it that tunubu is someone who we thought was going to do better but he hasn't done better and he has the Southwest, who was, again, former communication spokesperson for Atiku in 2019. He's also saying, I'm here. Why are you not basically choosing me? I guess that's what I'm hearing in some of the conversations. So, guys, take a listen for yourself. Omo, this thing just scatter everywhere. I, I, am, I am disgusted. First that's of all, a very I, strong word. Yes, very I know. Strong. It is. It is. I'm, I'm disgusted in the sense that there are mistakes you expect a novice who doesn't understand these things to make. You don't expect that from someone who has been governor in Lagos. I know because when they were in the second term, mm -hmm. I was a special advisor to the governor of Ogusera, to my Daniel Media, and I used to cross swords with Dele Alake in those days. And I know how tight their media outfit is. I know a lot of 
okay, strong people and strong voices that have managed the complexity of his media, even in the midst of crisis when he was having both his academic issues with Ghanifa and me, the ones he had with the vast and all that. Why would he become president of Nigeria and begin to say that putting together a media team is so such a cacophony of strength fellows? And I'll tell you why. Right. Number one. On whose table does the box stop? Who clears it, like he, my like brother you mentioned? mentioned. Yeah. The other question is that if, for instance, there's a breaking news in Nigeria and say they wanted to talk to someone, who do they call? You can you ask yourself, the, the, the United Nations is a very big, humongous bureaucracy. Yeah. Do they have a cacophony of one million people calling themselves spokesperson? The well, presidency of the United of America is also a very big government where they are just the new president to say they want to cut it down with them. Do you, do you think they have so many spokespersons? It is symptomatic of how it, it is now clear to me that it is easy or it could be easy to win an election, but it's a completely different kettle of fish to form a government. You have to take a step backward and look at what they have even done with their ministers. And then you come further and say, if you've just changed ministers because you are trying to, you know, reject the cabinet, mm -hmm. is that the reason why you have confusion in something that is a very simple, easy to understand procedure? I think that President Bola Metin, who is running into this trouble because he likes to micromanage by himself. With due respect to the chief of staff, they couldn't have given the responsibility to the chief of staff and there would be confusion because he would have designated it well. They couldn't have given the responsibility to the secretary of the government of the federation mm. and there would be this confusion. He would have designated it well. Yeah. But when you bring your yo yo dandy, happy go lucky friends who actually did not contribute anything to your election, make the people who worked so hard, worked so hard, practically tore ourselves and got our eyes out on different sides, begin to look at you as someone who doesn't even understand on whose backs you even won. If you had lost this election, would the person who have been saying you cannot get anything done in 30 years, would those type of people be able to be now having such a big presence of state of space? With due respect to the president, if you cannot put together a simple thing like a communication team, which of them will be in cabinet to understand the directive principles of your government? All three? Okay, if you are going abroad and you have to go some of these trips, which of them goes with you as a rule? You, the minister, the prime minister of India was here a couple of days ago. Mm -hmm. While he was in Nigeria, you can see what his comp teams were doing. They were already generating the traction of the stories and all that. It was already going haywire. What were our own Humpty Dumpty What were they doing? Busy taking pictures. One person was running ahead, breaking protocols to jump in front of them. We we're just disgracing ourselves. If you see, I'm a little bit agitated. Yeah. You know why? I'm agitated because you see, when your brother fails, you fail. You have failed. Right. Today, now, the kind of bragging right people like us used to have, when people like General Buhari or any other person who was on the table as Yoruba men, is all but gone. Because on the same, look at what was Buhari's media like. He had Femi additional head. He had Garibashi, special assistant, was special assistant, the next. And there were a lot of speaking head. He had a media, a Buhari media team that people like Akishinju were running. These guys are just not getting it right. And because they think that they are dandy, they think that they are some kind of fantastic outliers and the output does not even reflect that. I don't want him to fail. You know the worst part of this whole nonsense? Is the fact that everybody is going to be doing influence peddling. Oh, I'm the one that took a picture of the president. Therefore, I'm the one that people should run to. Mm. They'll start running around the ministers and so just making, just causing chaos. He needs to come back from Brazil and come and fix this mess. Okay. You know why? Because the reputation of the president. The yes. president of any nation is the alter ego of the country. And you can't create this mess and tell us to now say that, okay, yeah, Nigeria is where like we are who? Wow, that was Shagun Show me the gubernatorial candidates for PDP and also Atiku Abubakar, ex communication press secretary. So, as you guys can see, he is someone who is very passionate about whatever he does and especially as it relates to communication. And Nigeria, you know, it's not a big GDP, it's a developing country. Why do you need 12 people? To represent you. Adirian Gilele, we know he left as well because the, the way the whole thing was just, the thing is just kata scatter. So he's here lamenting and just complaining and say, what is going on? So he was he's someone that you expect to have some experience. And he was acting like he has no experience at all. The way he's handling the economy, even the way he's appointing people. He just fired a few of his ministers a couple months ago. And now here he is, he's also hiring Dan Eduard Bala and everything. And what I also suspect is that uh, Show Me is also saying, I'm here. I'm a guy from the Southwest. Why didn't you pick me? See me. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. And you see these boys who again, were all kind of hoping that Nubu would do better. 
but Tinubu continues to disappoint them. And Shekun Shome has come out to also complain and say, ah, why are you choosing that Nibola? The way you are running this thing is not done. Now, do you guys think he's doing that because of selfish interest? Or do you think he's just doing that for the country, as he said? Because sometimes you have to wonder, these guys that are talking, who are career politicians, are they just saying what they are saying? Or they really are saying this thing, and also for their own self-interest? Thank you for watching, guys. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye. Bata, bata. Bata. Box.